This week on Sweet Ruka. You know it's going to be fun when the boat's name is Boat Drinks. We just got done checking into Customs. So they're packed full of people and empty full of goods. Test number one completed. There's a lot of, you know, different regulations that people are thinking about putting into place based on travel. I'm Kate. This is Curtis and Roxy the dog. This is our roaming home sweet Ruka. One year ago, we quit our jobs, bought a boat, and plan on sailing around the world without going through the canal. You heard me right. Cape Horn and the Cape of Good Hope. Click subscribe and come along for the ride. We say goodbye to our friends from Jamestown Boatyard from back in Rhode Island after a beautiful sail and lots of yummy pizza. Afterwards, we head into town to catch a safari bus to Home Depot to pick up a bucket when we run into a stranger at the checkout line. We're headed into St. Thomas Yacht Club today to do a little bit of IC24 racing. We just randomly were at Home Depot buying a bucket. There was a guy in line behind us and he goes, are you guys sailors? And we said, well, yeah, we are. And he goes, you guys want to come racing? I need a main trimmer. And we said, yeah, sure, that sounds good. So here we are. <laughs> here we are at St. Thomas Yacht Club and we're going to head in and do a little bit of uh, fun racing down here. We gave ourselves a quick tour around St. Thomas Yacht Club and found ourselves enjoying all the racing photos, which reminded us of our previous life. We were excited to get back out on the race course again. We're grateful enough to have Nick, our host, who picked us up in the Home Depot. <laughs> the best crew in the Home Depot. You guys, this is St. Thomas Yacht Club and um, the uh, IC24 racing down here. The IC24 was once a J24, so it's a J24 um, underneath the water. And then you can see what they've done. They've opened up the whole cockpit. So the cockpit is based more off of a Melgus 24 or more like a J70. They've really made the boats nice and roomy to sail. Uh, great for uh, advanced sailors and for beginning sailors. Yeah, well, the IC24 is a perfect uh, Caribbean boat. A little small self-tapping jib, all, all uh, Dacron sails. Simple to sail, simple, 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 and uh, rugged. And uh, of course, sailing in Caribbean waters, what can you say? What's this boat? Here, right here. And there we're going to sneak by the sweet Ruka. And there's Roxy on board saying hi to everybody. We make a quick trip back to the boat to grab Roxy as the end of the day allows us to unwind a little. We share a few drinks on the beach and watch the sunset. The hospitality and kindness of the people at St. Thomas Yacht Club made for one of the most enjoyable days. Everyone welcomed us like old friends ready to get back out on the water. We eventually were able to make a burgy trade and will always remember the joy of our time spent here. It's quite hilly in St. Thomas and we needed another trip to Home Depot. So Nick from St. Thomas Yacht Club drove us around and even stopped at Harbor Shoppers so we could look for a new dinghy motor, but we came out empty handed. Afterwards, Nick took us for a powerboat ride to scout out the race course for a distance race we planned to do together. There are some particularly exposed rocks we wanted to familiarize ourselves with. Roxy enjoyed going fast and all the many sniffs too. It was an interesting day filled with beautiful water.
Sadly, the race would never come to be because of light wind, but we finished the day out by watching some Hobie Cat races right out in front of our boat and the Yacht Club. We had a blast being surrounded by the colorful sails and so much racing. A beautiful place and a fun time with great people. Dinner consisted of a homemade pizza and a wonderful sunset. Don't forget, we're a boat, so there's always work to be done. Our water maker membrane finally arrived and so we took the time to install it and even make a how-to video, which you can check out as a tech talk on our channel. After tons of work, we were met with a little scare at the end. water maker project is uh, a good amount of work but we are I think over halfway there so let's keep on trucking all right go ahead and turn it on all right sounds okay Looks like we've got water flowing through no leaks not good. As it turns out, we just needed the system to repressurize, and so we tested the water for particles per million, and we're good to go. Yum! Fresh ocean water! We had previously entertained friends and family, and even squeezed in some time for racing. Now it was time to get back sailing and have some Curtis and Kate time. We hoisted the sails, including our new staysail, and headed towards St. John. We enjoyed the rocky hillside, especially Roxy, who took in the mini snips. What we saw when we anchored made for a truly magical experience. To Roxy's chagrin, we jumped in the water and discovered a few things we had never seen up close before. and see how our new stay sail is coming along here. We tried a few different ways of uh, attaching them with different four state tensions and it looks like we're finally coming along here to a system that works. The sail trim starting to look a little bit better, so check them out. The U.S. Virgin Islands served us well. The BVIs were only a few miles away and we were ready for the next adventure.
gonna happen out there? Hey everybody, we are headed into Sofers Hole in the British Virgin Islands. And uh, if you guys look over here, you'll see the beautiful Sofers Hole and all the awesome looking mega yachts. And we're gonna go in here and see what it's all about. So actually, we, we got a mooring ball really close to uh, where the customs check-in is. And I'm gonna turn the camera here so you can see. It is that blue building right there. So we are just checking in and hopefully uh, we'll be good to go. We just got done checking into customs. Well, customs, immigration, and harbor fee, which we didn't know about coming in. So, oh, and our, and our animal, our vet fee. So we have to tell you about that as well, how uh, checking in with a dog went. So let me show you everything that I needed to check in. You need your pen. Bring a pen to customs and maybe bring two or three just in case one runs out of ink because there's a lot of writing that you've got to do. So there's your pen. So the first thing that we dealt with when we checked in uh, was our dog paperwork. And what we needed here was the approval by basically the head uh, veterinarian of the British Virgin Islands. Uh, entry form, health certificate, rabies titer test. Um, here's our certificates of vaccination. So Roxy is in the country. I'm gonna interrupt Curtis real quickly. The one thing that we did to get Roxy over here is I was in contact with Dr. DeVoe. When Roxy's paperwork got all approved, in that email he said, uh, send me a phone call or give me a text when you are an hour away from the port that you're arriving in. So um, we did and he met us here. Everything was good to go with Roxy. Back to Curtis. The next thing that we had to do was we had to fill out our immigration forms and you know, show our passports, write down our passport numbers, yada, yada, yada. We had to fill these out too, which is our departure record. The next part was showing them our certificate of the documentation for the boat. There was this big form that we filled out. This was more immigration stuff. I think we're gonna have to move pretty soon because it looks like we are drifting into this derelict boat next to us. Check this out. He's drifting into us. Anyways, it's about time to restock on provisions, groceries, and maybe get some more fuel as well, so. All right, so let's go find the Soper's Hole fuel dock. Phew, we were all checked in and it was time to raise the next country flag. Our nerves put aside, we were very cheerful and even did a little more singing. Here's to our check-in in the British Virgin Islands, country number three on the world tour. Ooh, baby, I love your way every day. Hey, hey. I want to sail with you night and day, all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we decided to head to Popular Nanny Key and hang out on the dock for a bit. We hadn't seen much of a dock or mooring ball since we left Rhode Island and felt we owed ourselves a little change of pace with access to grocery, laundry, beach for Roxy, and of course the ever-important boat parts. After checking in, we walked around the boatyard and then headed back to the boat to give Roxy some love before running a few errands and of course starting another little project. Who's that? <laughs> hey. Hi. Any other ways we can get on? Back up. Back up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. Happy dog life. Oh my God, she's so cute. So it is coronavirus crisis right now for all of our friends and family up at home. The grocery stores are packed. What is it? It's Friday? They're packed full of people and empty full of goods. Uh, it's Friday, <laughs> March Friday 13th. 13. So we're headed to go walk around, gonna go to the store, and we'll show you some of our little <laughs> marina life. Was 
hoping you would stay, but I've always known that you would go and find your own way. I'm uh, putting away all of our groceries and reorganizing them so we have room for them in case of emergencies. I know we can get everything to fit somewhere. <laughs> Howdy. Today we're servicing our winches. The winches are so important because they help us adjust our sails. We decided to do a little routine maintenance on them and get them in ship shape. Next we head to a wide open grassy area to try out our new drone. A quick flight is all we could handle at first, but we felt pretty successful. We have liftoff. There's a lot of color. Test number one. I don't know Completed. Where to go. See a lot of colors. Only feeling blue. There's a lot of colors. Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze the dream Well, Kurt, a few words about your first flight. That <laughs> was scary. I was going to lose my drone, but it's a DJI Mavic Pro. Mavic? Mavic? Mavic, Mavic, something like that. The apps on here seem to work pretty good and keep you pretty safe. We are in Nanny Key Marina right now, walking to a place called Mulligan's Pub. We just went out and decided to just wander around and explore on a nice day. Some interesting boats here that we're walking by. There's some pretty cool stuff, you know. But yeah, we're going to explore. It's kind of hard to explore without a car. They do have taxis here, but um, I don't know. We haven't thought about it yet, what we're going to do to what the first place is that we're going to go see. It's definitely kind of interesting with the coronavirus and there's a lot of, you know, different regulations that people are thinking about putting into place based on travel and you try not to spread it. So oh, we're going to hang out here for a while and, and see how it goes. So uh, that's that, I guess. All right, to the pub. To the pub. What we didn't realize is that this would be our last public outing for quite some time. In the next video, we head towards the end of March and the world is shocked to its core.